All right, we are in Japan, which is insane. <laughs> we were in the Hamptons yesterday, power washing, and now we just woke up basically in Japan, slept most of the flight, yeah. did it really well, feel pretty good. It's 11 a.m. 1.30 p.m. Uh, well, we're figuring it out. We're excited to be here. Gonna tell you a bit more. Gotta clear customs. But, uh, we made it. All right, it happens sometimes, but it just happened. In this bag. Didn't make it. Japan off to a interesting start here. All right, off to a booming start here. Bags lost, can't find a Wi-Fi router. You know, guess we'll figure it out though. Right? I'm like really fast right now. Don't be, we're gonna get through it. So we just got here, we're on our anniversary trip. We are indeed, today is literally our anniversary. May. Two years, baby. Two years. May 20th. Um, up to a little bit of a rocky start, but it's gonna be great. I don't have a bag, which means I don't have a stitch of makeup or toiletries or clothes. You're wearing some clothes. And they smell really good. And you have beautiful skin. Thanks, babe. So we came here pretty last minute. Trip just got booked two weeks ago. Mm hmm. Yeah, with this. Uh, really cool company called Nokin which we'd never used before but we're really excited to get into so it's this little app on the phone and you click it and you're in you have full itineraries kind of a before you go packing guide what happens when you arrive airport to-do list which we were just trying to do but it was a little tedious so we didn't pick up a Wi-Fi router we didn't pick up train passes, but we're just going to hop into the city and try and check into our hotel and maybe get some things for you to wear to our anniversary dinner. But we're super excited. We're going to eat our way through Tokyo, then go to Hakone, probably eat some more stuff, and then go to Kyoto, maybe eat some more things. <laughs> Babe, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm very excited to be here, and I'm very annoyed by this hiccup. A little damper on the excitement, but the excitement will return. So first stop is hotel. Um, on our little app here is Park Hyatt Tokyo. And what's dope about this app, it even gives you like a little transportation cheat sheet, how to get there from each station, how to walk from stations. And what I think is pretty cool, even when you click on, you got the Park Hyatt Tokyo, you click on directions and you can do navigation even in Waze maps, Google Maps, whatever you need. So, pretty amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This is insane. Tokyo. Also the same hotel that Bill Murray was in in Lost in Translation, which is just incredible. Definitely be having a drink at that bar on the roof. This is our hotel. I think it kind of sticks out in the city line, but can't really see yet. But we're about to drop into town, get uh, some stuff for Hannah, get her nails fixed, makeup done, some clothes. You lose your bags and you realize how attached you are to that stuff, but blessing that we'll be able to be in Japan anyway. So we're lucky enough we can just go grab something and get you back in the game. As soon as we find this damn Uber. All right, you got your nails back? I got my nails done, so I'm feeling like a new person. <laughs> I don't even care that I don't have my bag anymore. <laughs> the women in the salon had extra makeup, so they gave me some things, which I'm very excited to figure that out. Got to do a little mixy mixy to figure out my situation. Color. But I'm feeling very positive about everything. So there's that. And now I'm excited again. 
you're just walking all over the place, by the way. Left, right, zigzagging. Well, I just don't know what, where you're, <laughs> what angle you're coming from. I need to cough really badly because it's 4 a.m. at home, right? 5 a.m. Can't even think like that, babe. At home, slash, it's 6 p.m. here. Yep. Not time for a coffee at all, but I'll take one. No, we need a coffee for yeah. sure. We're going for an insane sushi experience tonight. So says you. So says two. We do two latte. Two latte. What kind of milk do you have? Me kind of milk. Yeah. Cheers. Bar we're at is the uh, Bill Murray special. <laughs> it's good to be here. Mm. All right, we just tried to go to a bar and we fell asleep in the car on the way there. <laughs> and now we're falling asleep on the way home. So. This is how we pass out on our anniversary. Oh, two years. See you tomorrow. All right, day two, waking up. What I didn't show you yesterday is that we got two beds in our room for uh, two twin beds, actually, because that was the only room they had left. And you know, it's our two year wedding anniversary. We were hoping for a queen, maybe a king, but two years in, and uh, we slept in separate beds for the first time ever. Not a bad sleep to be honest, but it feels like we're 70 going on 80, 90. I'm not sure what people do or when they move to this. I think it's if someone snores or moves around anyway. It is a really rainy day out here, just pouring. But we're gonna attack the day. Go to the fish market as a start. It's 7.30 a.m. right now. And uh, I'm just excited to get out there, see what the city's about. Brief sushi interlude last night. We actually slept really well, which is impressive. Like seven hours. Although I just look like I haven't slept in five days right now. But welcome to me getting up. Gonna get out there, attack the day, right Hannah? Right, babe. All right. All right, so in today's schedule, um, we're checking out East Tokyo, and we're gonna check out the fish market, which is the Tsukiji. So pretty cool. Gives you a whole kind of map of the market, where to go, what to do, must see, key stops, and I'm looking forward to the sea urchin in a steam bun. It's pretty dope. Number two, which is there. All right, so let's, let's dive in. Yeah, let's back it in. I know. Welcome. Now you know how I feel all the time. Nine devices. Hannah's just getting into her device game and now she has two and no hands and can't hold an umbrella. Little uh, this year, getting some wagyu. Pretty excited. That's amazing. Just frying it up in the back here. Tour groups are pretty heavy in here. Umbrellas probably needed, but you know, just making it happen. Thank you. First way. Oh my god. Might be a little best thing I've ever had. <laughs> well, this is how it's gonna go. Pretty damn excited! Alright, we uh, are in the cut here, but it's a little crazy. Really? Really active. I can't decide if it's good that it's raining because there's less people or bad because there's so many damn umbrellas. Yeah, these alleys are packed. We 
sweet, some great food. All sorts of great food. So much. But this rain is uh, a little difficult, so now we're trying to figure out what to do. I just want to go to a coffee shop to chill and recollect my thoughts on where we need to go right now. We did the fish market, we got a quick coffee because, you know, jet lag's real. <laughs> and we're trying to deal with it, but feeling pretty good. But we're going to continue our eating tour of Tokyo now because that's what we do, folks. We like to eat. Love to eat. Um, you know, split in some dishes, kind of tapas touring through cities because especially here there's so many good places we reached out to so many people asking for recommendations of where to eat and it's been like almost i honestly big. think we need to be here for a month to be able to get through everyone's <laughs> yeah. recommendations there's so many recommendations so we're just trying to knock off a few there's gonna be some places you might have recommended to others that people didn't but um it's gonna be our own tour of it and we're doing our best so we're gonna get some pizza real quick right now yeah split that and then get some ramen right after and then roll through an afternoon so we went from fish market coffee pizza ramen all by shopping, like 1 p.m yeah which will be great shopping after no shopping after i was that's why i said you said 1 p.m and i said shopping because that's what we're doing after that just getting the linear timeline for them all right so we started here and we're just moving shopping's here and then we'll get over you're crazy I'll take one of those. Oh, my neck. Yeah, it feels good. Mm -hmm. Degrees. Celsius. No, it's not. Not even close. It's like 18 degrees. I meant 35 mile an hour winds. Oh. It's really windy out there. Um, we're traveling around in cabs. We really? wanted to take the train, but a little concerned it might drop us too far from spots we're going to in this rain. So we're going to attack that tomorrow in a little better weather, I think, but supposed to be amazing, no? Tomorrow's weather? The train. Oh yeah, the train is supposed to be very cool. Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> Arigato. Always remember to hydrate. Alright, so we came to this place, Savoy, which is supposed to be amazing, but we're queuing. And we don't know how long it's going to be, probably at least half an hour, and it is pouring rain, which is not, I'd say, uber convenient. We're going to figure it out. You excited? Mm -hmm. And pizza was amazing, obviously. Hey, had to get a little vintage shopping in. And now we're gonna walk in the rain because it's pouring, but we're trying to be good tourists and uh, keep exploring this town. Rain or shine. Oh, that is just pretty wet, but we're going to put an hour or two of rainy shopping in and then go dry out at the hotel before some dinner, I guess. Uh-huh. The city's so dope, though. I know. It's got the perfect mixture of old school character and, like, insane modern functional layout. You know what I mean? My calves are soaked. <laughs> My ass is soaked. <laughs> All right, so it's day two, and we obviously hit the town, did the whole thing, only to come back and find out that Hannah's bag is still missing. Mm. So, back in Brennan's pants. <laughs> My favorite place for you to be. <laughs> Inappropriate? Perhaps. No, not at all. We're making it work, because you're a champ. And cocktail will probably solve things. Mm. 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 So we just got to Birdland and our neighbor 
bought us some drinks. He was wasted. Pretty lit. <laughs> he was so excited to see Brendan as if he'd been waiting for Brendan all night. I think he thought I was Robin Thick. <laughs> <laughs> It's a joke. No, Brendan's not. Not actually, but I'm looking forward to it. We had all these grand plans of going out, but... We can hardly keep our eyes on We almost fell asleep at dinner, and now we... No, we didn't fall asleep at dinner. We weren't close to falling asleep at dinner. We were really close. I'm exhausted. I just slept the whole cab right home. Oh, good night. Look whose bag arrived. Babe, I... <laughs> you happy? <laughs> Mad, sad, tired? What's happening? No, it's that. I thought you were trying to put me on your freaking Instagram story. I, like, just woke up. I'm so confused what's happening. You got your bag. You're supposed to be so excited. <laughs> I am, but I'm just... I want to rearrange this. You look pretty excited about it, though. I am excited, but I just didn't want to be put on the snap. Well, I haven't used Snapchat in about three years, so <laughs> you're pretty safe there. <laughs> I'm really tired. Why are you awake at six in the morning? I was excited for you to get your bag. I <laughs> know. I couldn't sleep until I got here. I, I felt that it was in the hotel. The real question is, <laughs> are my drugs at Tracy? Let's find out. <laughs> Yay! All is saved. Uh, oh, my computer. Oh my god, I forgot I even fucking packed that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was a big win. Got the bag back. And <sighs> it's a little too early, but somebody's happy. <laughs> what are you boxing? <laughs> <laughs> this was a snort. Oh my goodness. Alright, this jet lag is a little real, but you know, we're getting through it. And Hannah's gonna have normal outfits today, so. Oh, I can't wait. On our last day in Tokyo. On our last day in Tokyo. We'll be back one more day. Finally sunny out here. Wow. Tokyo. We are headed to Maguro. right here. Maguro. Maguro. It's Which supposed to be a very traditional. Well, Maguro is the area. Area, yeah. And where we're going is a very traditional breakfast. Is this it? It's a traditional Japanese breakfast mm. called Kilsiki. I'm saying Kilsiki. It's yeah. over there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. We have no idea if we're gonna like the food or not because we don't know what it is. But I was told we gotta do it. So, well, we're doing it. One in Japan. You must do as the, the local, do. or the locals do. I don't know if this is like a local. Oh no? It's very chic, it's very regal, it's an old school type of experience. Kisiki? I'm saying it wrong, and I feel bad. Okay. Only one way to find out. Arigato! Okay. Back. <laughs> right. All right, unfortunately, we couldn't film anything in there. Oh, yeah. I kind of said no video. So you uh, didn't get to experience that with us, but it was and very traditional. It was beautiful. I think it, it's pronounced Kaiseki. And it was stunning. The way that they had their tea practice and then everything they laid out. It was a very traditional meal. We had our rice, we had our pickled vegetables, we had the egg omelet, yeah, the piece of fish. Yeah. It was beautiful. Sure. So we literally just finished breakfast and now Hannah's taking us to eat pizza <laughs> for dessert. I'm just gonna roll on back to New York after this, literally. Fine, we'll put this is a little red light district. It is? 
Yeah. What is it? <laughs> I went with the old faithful here. You're gonna be done that thing I was saying? <laughs> Which one's better, yesterday's or today? All right, just down to pizza in under five minutes. I think yesterday's might have been a bit better at Savoy, but... Shirikan. Shirikan, the original chef and his sous chef went to Savoy? No, the original chef. They closed Savoy and opened Shirikan. Damn, there you go. Ricola. You know? Don't even know why I'm eating it, but we just went to this store called Jantiques. I truly don't even like vintage, but I think I just bought way too much. Do you want me to carry one? Yes, please, because I need my other hand. That's so good. Damn. It's no joke. These guys are out here shopping. Very rare for us. Very rare. We can literally never shop. So this is kind of a treat. Best part about exploring a city is finding hidden gems. Like this little coffee shop we just ran up on. Would you like something? Yeah. Would you, would you want an ice? Cream? Really, there's nothing better to do than just walk around the city, though. We just found the dopest little street next to this little river slash causeway, and we're just cruising. Everything's so small here. Tons of little restaurants, bars. We're not really here at the right time. It feels, I feel it comes alive at night though. Do it. We spill a little bit. Thank you. Say it. Say thank you. In Japanese. Come on, you know it. <laughs> Eat on your <laughs> Say sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs> Don't say sayonara. Sayonara. All you can say is, oh, it's getting some gas. Yeah, nice. Because you put it in my head, but I really wanted to say. Oh my goodness. Old oh, scary summer desk is really nice though. Old scary summer desk, ready? Oh, scary summer desk. Old scary summer desk. <laughs> Guys, that's the easiest Japanese you could learn. Old scary summer desk. It means great job today. But you just say. Arigato. Arigato. That's all I wanted to say was arigato. Brendan, you did your dumbass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, checking out of here. Oh, there's a photo shoot going on. Uh, <laughs> Park Hyde's been amazing. Arigato. Arigato. Our trip continues. Arigato. We're headed to Shinjuku Station. We're gonna get on an express train and go to Hakone for a day, two days and one night. Maybe a full day by the time we get there. Pretty excited to navigate it using this Noken app, to be honest. I'm chatting with someone from Noken right now, actually. <laughs> yeah, they're so helpful. They have just had like a chat messaging service within the app. Whoa. Like a, you know, like any other kind of concierge service, you know. But they're responsive? Within minutes. Really? Yeah. Sick. About to open this thing up, but it explains just even how to deal with tickets here, which is kind of, looks a little confusing. I mean, would seem confusing if you didn't have this, but just like walk to station. If you're using a JR pass, use the ticket gate. Take the line, get off at Tokyo Station, four stop, follow signs. Just like everything right here. Pretty sick making it really easy to move around Japan. Which I didn't ever think would be that simple. So hey, we'll take it. Oh, we will. No kidding. We're definitely a little off. And this bag is mad heavy. <laughs> Too much vintage shopping. It's also like 80 degrees out here. It's really damn hot. All right, we finally made it, found that place. This map was just a little tough. 
This is a little difficult. I'm excited to never use this map again, by the way. But we got it sorted. We got an hour to kill. And uh, we're gonna hit the train. Bullet train, baby. Feel better? Should we go in now or eat lunch? Should we eat something now or should we? Because we have an hour, 40 minutes. Cool off before I think. Do you think there's food inside? Didn't the lady yesterday tell us about like bento boxes or like where are they experience? Yeah. yeah. Like do we buy them on the train or maybe they do buy them in here? Maybe we buy them on the train coming. Mm. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And you want a beer or a drink? No, Can I get one large asahi? Okay. Uh, yeah, large. That's stressful. <laughs> but we got some bento and we got on this train. Honestly, thanks to your navigating I mean, my Japanese is exquisite, so it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Toto. Yes, Toto. Toto. <laughs> <laughs> Excited? This is amazing. Alright, so we got to our hotel and changed in a hot second after a welcome drink, which is nice. Uh, and we came to see the open air museum. It's a massive park. Gonna have time to see everything to see a lot, but if you didn't come here now, we wouldn't have gotten to see it at all. So. Exactly. Look how beautiful surroundings are. So I love outdoor sculpture gardens. I was a sculpture major in college and grew up going to Storm King in upstate New York. And this is really surreal to be in such a gorgeous outdoor sculpture garden here in Japan. Crazy. Where's Brendan? Oh, look at you. Oh, look at us. Taking over the cam. <laughs> How I appreciate it so. Well, this one's cool. <laughs> Open Air Museum, hopped a free train ride home because we got stranded, and now it's time for onsen. Onsen. Which is? I think it's like the act of bathing, which I'm a huge fan of, obviously. Big bather over here. Big bather. <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning. We're wearing... Uh, some traditional robes to breakfast. I forget what they're called. I want to say a yuka. A yuka? We're uh, about to go see the Jinju? Jinja. Jinja shrine, which is 
right down there, that little orange thing. I guess it's not a thing that might be a little rude. That orange monument. And we're going to get down there and check it out. Yeah. Let's see it. And this is Mount Fuji. It is? Isn't that what she was just saying? I think it's over here. Right there. Right here? Oh, yeah, the white one. Oh, yeah, the white one. How you feeling back there? Well, you're looking cute doing it. All right, we came, we saw we conquered really fast. We realized we don't really have a lot of time. We're like under 24 hours in Hakone, but it's been really amazing. I'd love to come back here for a couple days at some point. Sorry, thank you. Okay. Oki bus katoma. Definitely not what he said. Nope. Anyway, trying to knock out the most touristy things while we're here. And then we're going to hop on a train and head to Kyoto. Kyoto. So we're going to try and get... The land of matcha. Yes. Matcha Stewart's going to be on her, on her game. This has been an amazing trip so far. Super blessed to be here. Never really thought I'd come to Japan, especially with you. <laughs> Just never thought about it. It's also sick as Google Translate, in case you didn't know. Been using this pretty well. You can just hit the speaker. <laughs> Which means, is there a waterfall close or nearby? Because we can't communicate that well about things like waterfalls, so that was very helpful. Although we still don't know if we're going to see one. But we want to. Oh wow, you found one for us, you're the best. <laughs> Look at this guy. Bye, arigato. Sayonara. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we just left Hakone and we are headed towards Kyoto. But you know, we got a two hour train ride. We need that bento box, baby. Frankly, there's too many options in here. Yeah. Let's get some rolls. here in Kyoto and it is hectic coming from Hakone this place is just packed heard it was pretty touristy here but whoa oh. All right, we're checking into our hotel we're staying at the hotel Karna K-A-R-N-A city streets. So cool. It's the coolest thing ever. Little sake bars, little restaurants. We're coming to this matcha house because Hannah's been DMing with them. They saw that we were in Japan and they reached out and they were like, you should come see us. We have a place in Tokyo and Kyoto. So here we are. Here we are. Excited? I'm really excited. This is really cool. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, babe. Mmm. We're getting a gift? 
Hey. All right, so that was pretty cool. That was so cool. Thanks to social media, we got some free matcha and a lesson. Yeah. And now we're matcha historians. <laughs> Which I feel pretty good about. We are. Oh, this is the place you were just talking to about. We need to go to the 500-year-old silver place that closes in 30 minutes. But we're going at the later side of the day. So that Sober way, marathon. So that way... It's not a sober marathon. Anyway, hey, we're going at the end of the day so that we're hopefully beating the lines because they don't True. take reservations. That's that guy's been happy, baby. That baby's been waiting in line. <laughs> He's mad, he doesn't have any soba. I also apologize, I forgot the stabilizer, so it's gonna be some shaky vids for the next little bit. Please don't throw up. So, on Hannah's eating tour. Next stop, sake bar. Sake bar, followed by... Tempura. Tempura. Literally said it before, but said you, again, rolling home. But you know what? There's so many different types of cuisines here, and we're not even hitting them all. Like, there's kaiseki, tempura, soba, ramen. There is teppanyaki, unagi, um, Izakaya, sushi, I mean, like, you can't even hit them all. By the way, that was a really good That's a good list. list yeah, yeah, you killed that. Hey, come on. All right, that's it. We ate tempura. We had a good time. Now we must sleep. We are very, very tired. See you tomorrow. It's our second and last day in Kyoto, so we thought we'd come get a little touristy, although it's going to be 95 degrees out today. I've been walking this Fushimi Shrine for 20 minutes, maybe. Don't know where we're going. We're going to get somewhere, that's for sure. It's been uh, around since 711 AD. Oh Hannah just said she couldn't imagine bringing a little kid here. Like if you had a little three-year-old, four-year-old. Like they would just get tired. Or poop to... their pants, you said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Oh god. We came, we saw, and again. Comfort? Correct. It's getting pretty hot and we're trying to go see some monkeys. Apparently on a monkey hill. It's the tip Ryan Tick. <laughs> and uh get a coffee because I am I need water. Yeah, hydrate, dehydrate, you know. Same, same, but different. New York City. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, is that a trash bin? It's very difficult to find garbages around here because people... How is that possible? Because the place is so freaking clean. Exactly. People take it home. Take their trash home? Yeah. Wow. So much respect. This awesome. one, this no, one. no. Hey, there's plastic in here. Though. No. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I don't you're know. Right, you're there's right. one in there too. This says cans. <laughs> it's the kids we just met asked us where we're from, why we came here. Hmm. And then, uh, so cute. They asked us why, they, why did we come to Kyoto? And they said it was our first time in Japan. And we were just so excited to explore. And we wanted to eat all the food. And then they thought that was so funny. 
So we're gonna see some monkeys. Last time I saw monkeys, not in a zoo. I was in Bali and one bit me on the head. And I thought I was getting rabies and dying, so I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna do it. Failed to mention it was another hike to Hannah and she's maybe not stoked. It's working off the weekend. This is my payback for breakfast, followed by pizza, followed by soba, into ramen, into a sushi meal. <laughs> Pretty t I think we've been clocking about five meals a day here. <laughs> and we can't even eat enough. Mid-hike, we're talking travel hair, baby. We're heading to France this summer for a wedding. And Hannah's wondering how to best get that hair going. I mean, last time we went on a, like, remember when we went to Greece, I did the braids. Yeah. I don't know if I want to have braids for the wedding. But I do want Not our something. wedding. A wedding we're attending. And I'm just thinking maybe I should do a sew in. Sewn in. Sewn in. I've personally never seen you with one, but. Well, I've never had one. Hence, I'm past it incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping we're halfway up here now. It's been a light mish post coffee, though. Fueled. It's kind of a reverse situation here where we're the humans in the cage. Yeah, I love it. And the monkeys are outside, which is actually amazing. What's up, bro? How you doing? I love their little hands. <laughs> All right. Check. Check. Was, Off the list. That was so cute. Fed some monkeys, some peanuts, and Kyoto. Life goals checklist. That wasn't in the top 10, nor top 30, because I didn't even know it existed, but <laughs> now it's been done. That was so sweet. <laughs> it was just so nice to see the monkeys just like... Thriving. And like no restrictions on where they could go or be, like they were just... Being. Yeah. I never thought we'd come to Japan and eat donuts. And pizza. And pizza. Poppy seed check. Poppy seed check. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I love you. Things I wouldn't think of. I don't even know if other people think of. Those are the best damn donuts I've ever had, though. Best damn donuts I've ever had. It's actually true. As a young donut connoisseur in Canada. What, like a Tim Hortons? That's correct. <laughs> For all my Canadians out there. I grew up on the Tim bit with a honey glazed donut, Boston cream for a while. Yeah, that's right. The honey dip, simple classic. Honey. Can't mess with it. Let me tell you, those were nothing like a Krispy Kreme, and thank God. Krispy Kreme came can Canada a little later. I think it's still there. It's the only place it still exists. Really? Yeah. All right, well, we started off with donuts, and now we're gonna hit some ramen. Because we don't eat in order here, you just eat. My type of day. We eat via opening hours. <laughs> yeah. Ramen we opens at 11.30, we're going for ramen. Been up since 5 a.m. Yep. Let's go. Place is heck there. So you order your meal from this machine. Are they playing Jack Johnson? This is insane. How good is this? <laughs> so, in other news, we're going to 
this place. Dandelion chocolate. A bean to bar spot, as they call it. In a fave. I don't need a lot of chocolate, so this could be interesting. Alright, we ate some chocolate. Just a little rare for me. It's probably been about 20 years since I've consumed chocolate. You know, she's not a chocolate guy, but uh, pretty great. <laughs> now, I'm gonna roam the streets, try and spot a geisha. Spotted. <laughs> we saw one. <laughs> came out here with a purpose. All we wanted to do was see a geisha. And I was like, there's a geisha, and you were like, huh? Check. Check. Alright, so what are we getting? I think uh, some of that, maybe... <laughs> maybe the next page? Nope. Okay, so Hannah booked us a really hard, possibly extremely hard restaurant to get into, but we got in, but we got these little tables. Which are maybe a foot high at max. What's cool is that there's a line around the block for this space, but not one western. Alright, we're leaving Kyoto. So, yeah, we saw Fushima, we saw the monkeys, we drank some coffee, we ate 23 meals, had 20 donuts, drank a couple drinks, and now four amazing donuts, by the way. Okay, so we're back, we take the bullet train to Tokyo, and we need to stay at the Tokyo Station Hotel. So, where are we? Okay, so we're right here. Yeah. And it's right here, so you just need to go to the left. Alright, cool. Alright, so our room isn't ready. Classic 3 p.m. check in. Some things remain the same in other cities. So, instead, we're gonna go eat more pizza. Yes. Because Hannah's trying to do a three-part pizza story. I am. And we're crushing it. We are. And this guy's belly is into it. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> FYI. This is our hotel. Tokyo Station Hotel. One of the oldest hotels in Tokyo, perhaps. Can't remember if I read that right or not, but it's in the train station and it's pretty regal. Stoked to see the room. Hot 90. Thank you. See you next time. Arigato. Oh, which way are we going? Can we walk for like four hours? Because it's belly. <laughs> For Lazar, baby. Lazar. <laughs> <laughs> Been roaming for a couple hours and just found the shut down street. In Ginza. No idea why. Sure Sh shopping nice. Sunday. Alright, so we just checked in. <laughs> And, uh, oh, this hallway looks amazing. It's me, it's Moretti. Checked in and realized it's our goddamn anniversary trip and we haven't even had one treatment. Oh. So I called down and finagled very last minute spa appointment. 
We are getting what is called a body reset. Sounds perfect. We just walked, I feel like. 2017 miles. <laughs> and it's like a hand, foot, head massage. It was the only thing available, so. <laughs> Better be the best goddamn massage I've ever had. It's kind of like the only points that I really want massaged anyway. We don't even know if there's a massage element. We're just resetting. Ready? Feels in AF right now. That was nice. So nice. Yeah. That was yours. Pretty nice. High five. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. Final night. That's about it. I'm gonna tuck in. Got to head to the airport mat early. I can't believe it's over. It's all over. We'll be back. Slash, we'll see you tomorrow to say bye. All right, checking out of this beautiful hotel, saying goodbye to this beautiful city. We had a great time. The best time. Everyone should put Japan on your bucket list. We saw this much of it. Would love to see way more of it. I say I just want to show you guys these cab doors because they are sick. Yes. Got this little device here. It pulls open and closes the doors. Just an extra level of convenience and luxury. International? Yes. Yes. Hi. That's it. Japan. We love you. We love you. It's fantastic. Can't wait to come back here. We're gonna share a big list right here. Well, right there of all the places we went, so. Hannah's list. It's gonna be Hannah's list. Look out for it.